I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I'll walk it out. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shibby2142. Today we're playing some more Team Fortress 2. But Shibby, how you see damage? By DJ Man 642 the Rocket Man. The direct hit, the battalion's backup. I'm actually going to be using it this time and not the buff banner. And lastly, our melee weapon being the default shovel. So we have a quick little how you see damage video for you guys. Not too much to cover, but let's get into it. We're playing on King of the Hill Viaduct. And it's a lovely little map. It is pretty intimate and small. Things that are good about that, a lot of action. Things that are bad. Spawn camping can really happen pretty easily on this map, so... I don't know. That just kind of happens. Alright, so our primary weapon here, the direct hit rockets travel. 80% faster than usual, so that's uh, good. Helps, obviously, direct hitting your enemies if you're good at that, but that's not really my playstyle. And I'll talk about that in a second. Deals... 25% more damage. That's good, you know, more high AC damage. Guarantees mini crit damage on opponents sent airborne by an explosion. Obviously that is helpful, so, you know, the thoughts are when this weapon first came out is pop your opponent up with one rocket and then direct hit them with the air shot and it's gonna be super sexy and they're always gonna die, like, no matter what. Well, the con to this weapon is there's a 70% smaller splash damage radius. So it's a lot harder to pop your enemies up and in my opinion, playing this weapon, not quite a bit, but enough that I think the amount of pop it has is less, or it feels less to me than just the normal rocket launcher. That's probably because of the splash damage radius being smaller, I and mean, that makes most sense, but I just think for some reason it's just it is not as good for juggling, which is definitely my soldier style. I guess that's from playing a lot of Quake Wars, or just Quake in general, where you go for the high percentage shots instead of all the rail shots and that sniper why are you just sitting there taking that i i don't i don't really know all right moving on to the battalion's backup essentially our secondary item at 100 percent charge which i never get during this gameplay because i just wasn't getting hit enough i i don't really know at 100 percent charge using it grants the player and nearby teammates 10 seconds of guaranteed immunity to critical damage and damage resistance damage or hold on raises the resistance to damage by 35 percent i'm like Damage resistance damage, how you see damage, like, that's, that's a lot of damage resistance. An example of just some poor juggling on my part, this is really embarrassing, obviously. One HP, barely getting away, and then I'm able to pretty much just not completely camp their spawn, but but hold them in there pretty well, just just kind of shooting rocks in there and taking some damage. And that's that's really it, you need to take 350 damage for this thing to charge up, and that, I get close here, but then I'm getting sniped. And our default shovel, pretty basic, 65 damage. It's kind of it. So, the top comment from the last question of the day goes to Alex, saying the Milkman set is very balanced in his opinion. And the next question of the day is, what is your favorite soldier primary? Let me know in the comments, or you can leave a how you see damage loadout for next time. Overall, not a terrible loadout, but the direct hit is just not my favorite for my playstyle. I appreciate you guys watching, subscribe for more, and hopefully I will see you guys in a future video.